Well, hello everyone! Welcome back to Royalty Soaps! In today's video, I'm going to make four slabs of soap. I had some extra fragrant soils that have been sitting around for a while, and I just got a really soapy bee in my bonnet. It is currently 9 p.m. where I'm filming. I have four slabs to do. It'll probably be a late night for me, but I just really wanted to make soap. The first soap we are making today is Blueberry Muffin. This is a custom blended scent. Fresh picked blueberries from WSP and then the blueberry muffin is from nature's garden as you can see my dad wrote on this mix because we made our own custom mix look at how nice and legible his handwriting is I always want my dad to write everything because it's so easy to read his handwriting and this is his favorite fragrance so I thought what the heck let's whip him up a batch now one of the main reasons I don't do this very often is because this fragrance oil discolors to almost black and I don't know I just don't find that a very appealing color for bakery fragrances I always want those to be like super super fruity looking but that's all right again occasionally it's a really nice one to do especially if you want something really sweet all right let's blend this up So I'm going to pour off three little soapy containers. We're going to have a lovely little accent. In this container, I'm going to add some ultramarine blue. In this container, I'm going to add some Key West blue. I'm going to mix these up real quick, see how dark they are and if I'd like to amend them. Then I'm going to add some titanium dioxide in that last container. Pour my fragrance oil into the big container. And with everything mixed in, let's pour. Just gonna pour this batter in here real quick. Now I'm gonna pour some of my blue and some of my white and some of my other blue. Pour some more of this in there. Yes, those accent colors, splishy splashy. I'm gonna tap this down on the ground. I'm gonna stick my mixer in here, this little hanger swirl tool up and down, all around. Just gonna get all the extra little bits in here. Make sure my bucket is scraped really well. Now using my chopstick, I'm going to swirl around. Oh man, look how delicious that looks. It's like a beautiful cake. <laughs> And another reason I wanted to make all these slabs is because, as you guys have seen, I have lots of extra embeds. I thought, what the heck? I've got tons of blueberry embeds. We'll just make a blueberry soap. This is going to take a very long time because I am going to absolutely litter the top with blueberries. And we have a lot of ground to cover tonight, so I am gonna go ahead and skip over the placing of all these embeds. You guys know what it looks like. And I'll just bring you guys in straight for the close-up after I have spritzed it with rubbing alcohol. You guys have no idea how long it took to place all these embeds on. I had to bring Caleb in here. Who knows how many are on there? I'm sure it's like 400 all the same it's looking delicious and it smells even better than it looks imagine a warm blueberry muffin in the morning fresh out of the oven made with real blueberries and sprinkled with sugar on top is your mouth watering yet Okay guys, so for this next soap, we're going to do more neons. You guys loved my 90s Lisa Frank inspired soap, so I thought, what the heck, we'll do a bigger batch of neon. This time, I'm not using any white because more neon, more better. <laughs> Now, if you guys really like this soap and it turns out really good, I might bring it back and make lots of bigger batches of it. You guys seem to really like the neon soaps. Now, I've got a dishwasher going. I've got an AC running. You guys told me not to kill myself <laughs> in the heat with the AC being off. So I took you guys at your word and left it running tonight. Now, all of these fluorescent neons that I'm 
using are from Mad Micah's. Nurture Soap has some. I believe Brambleberry has some and TKB also has them. Nature's Garden has some in fluid portions. Okay, and then I'm gonna place these in order off to the side. This soap is going to be layered, but like its predecessor, it will have a hanger swirl through it. <laughs> Well, this is definitely not the color it's supposed to be. I'm not sure if that was the fragrance oil. It must have been. It must have been the Skittles fragrance oil. Hang it all. Well, y'all, I clearly picked the wrong fragrance oil for this job. I should have stuck with lemon sugar. Here goes some yellow. Ah, hand cramp. Hand cramp. Oh man, I'm hand stirring all the colors in and oh my gosh, it's so tiring. My hands are done. Well, bummer about this soap turning out all weird. I will stick with a different fragrance oil next time and I bet that significantly improves things. Nothing a little glitter can't help. Now that last batch embittered me. So I'm going to do a single color pour and this time I'm gonna focus on the additives. I have had this pumpkin powder for a while. Maybe I should try it out. Ooh. I'm also going to add some chamomile flowers powder. So finely ground chamomile, some finely ground calendula, some kaolin clay, and a secret fragrance oil blend. Mwah! I must now dump this bucket into this bucket because I forgot that those big chunks need to like reconstitute themselves and should be mixed in a much smaller container, obviously. <laughs> well, this would be the second batch tonight that's giving me grief. The first one went along swimmingly and then everything's gotten weird. Well, whatever. Let's give it a good mix anyway. <laughs> All right, looks good, smells good, let's pour. Just gonna pour in this corner till the whole mold is filled. You guys, I'm not going to lie, I am beat. This week has been rather difficult on Caleb and I. I can't talk about all of it yet, but I will eventually. There's no, nothing really serious. It will make a good story time, but you know how there's just some weeks you just plow through and you're like, woo, I am gonna be happy when that one is over. It's been, it's been one of those. <laughs> and I find that if I'm not focused 100% on what I'm doing, like you've got little background tasks running in the back of your brain, typically that is when I make the most mistakes in soap making, like I have tonight. Tonight was not a perfect soap night. My batter was weird, had a couple of things I didn't anticipate going on. You know, that's life. That's, that's what happens sometimes. But if you find that's happening to you with whatever craft you do more often or rather unusual amounts a certain day, check the back of your brain. See if you're thinking about something else. Even if you're enjoying yourself, just check the back of your brain and see if anything's going on back there. That might be a cause for some of your issues. So I'm just going to put a few crystals chrysanthemums here on top. These are such a nice pale gold color. I don't even have a grid guys so I'm not like placing them 100% perfectly. I'm just trying to get a few on top. Gosh this smells lovely. Now I'm putting some little flowers on top as well. Little jasmine flowers. They're in the sort of same blonde sort of color scheme here. The top of this soap reminds me of certain Instagram influencers' feeds. I don't know who exactly, but I know that this like creamy tan color is super in vogue. I should put a couple oats on top, I think. Kind of has a little bit of an oat fragrance to it. Yeah, that looks really nice. I'm gonna leave this one uncovered. I'm also not gonna spritz the top. If there's ashing, so be it. I think that'll look kind of nice. Okay, guys, whew. I'm going to finish that last batch tomorrow morning. I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna get some good sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow for the last batch. 
I am back the next morning with fresh inspiration. I am feeling so much better and I'm going to do the final soap. This final soap is going to be kind of outer spacey. It's going to have a black base with beautiful swirly colors in it. I think I'm going to do an in the pot because that gets the best galaxy look in my opinion. Now the fragrance oil I am using for this is Dark Crystal by Brambleberry. So I am going to have to move it along. So into the large container, I am adding some black oxide. And to this container right here, I'm adding hydrated chrome green. And to this container, I'm adding some grape ape. And into this container, I'm adding ultramarine blue. All right, so here goes the blue. Gonna leave a little bit in here for the top. Here goes the green. And then I'm gonna pour some of this off and save some of the purple because I feel like those colors probably haven't penetrated all the way through. So I'm just gonna start by pouring some of this in. Look how pretty. Yeah, and then once I can see that most of that color is in, I'm gonna pour the purple, okay? Purple time, ooh, yes. And I'm just going to sprinkle the little bits of soap that I saved on top of this batch. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this grape ape colorant on top. I've got some of the blue left. I'll put a little of that too. All right, let's tap this down before we swirl. Swirling time! All right, everything is still fluid enough to swirl, thank goodness. This fragrance oil is often a pain in the tail, but guys, it is worth it. Tap this down. Excellent! Let's clean these sides down a little bit. That is such a satisfying thing to do. All right, so I'm going to put my grid on here and we're going to add some amethyst on top. Mmm, yes. I don't know if I mentioned this, but another reason I'm making these soaps today is because we sold out so fast in the last release and there wasn't enough time to buy more materials, and even if we had been able to buy more materials, we are short on people. We are slowly, but surely, finding people to work with us at Royalty Soaps, but it's kind of a process. By the time you guys are seeing this video, obviously the July release has been designed, the August release has been designed, the October release is about to be submitted, and the September release has been designed. So. Really, right now, the only things I have left is to design November and December. I'm gonna remove this because now I have markers. Time for some jewels. But honestly, guys, it's quite crazy to me how far in advance soap makers have to work to get all of their seasonal things released on time. You guys will have to tell me down below if y'all have any fun summer plans worth sharing. I don't have too many as of right now. I do want to learn how to weave. I recently fell down the rabbit hole with Instagram and the weaving community and I think it looks so fun. I already know how to embroider and cross stitch so I feel like if I can do both of those it shouldn't be too difficult. I can also do basic knitting both English and whatever the other one is. Now on the other side I'm going to add some clear quartz. I have some rose quartz as well but I thought I'd add these first. Now this looks stunning. I'm going to spritz it down a little bit with some rubbing alcohol and then I'm going to add some glitter. A new glitter company reached out to me recently. They're called The Good Glitter. They have the cutest packaging and all their little glitters come in the most adorable little containers. See, look at these. They're so cute. They're little glass bottles with these little caps, so plastic free packaging. And I'm going to test these these glitters out today on this soap. I am not necessarily recommending them yet because I don't know how they act. Like I said, I just got sent these in the mail, so I'm just going to start by putting a little bit of this purple stuff 
down the sides. I believe this is their opal glitter. Got some silver glitter here. Gonna put a little bit of that on top as well. Putting this mostly on the sides of the gems. I'm also gonna use a little bit of this like super micro fine glitter. You have to put quite a lot of it for it to show color, but that's the same as with like any micro fine glitter. It's not just this one. Because these specific glitters claim to break down super easily, I'm not going to spritz this soap with rubbing alcohol. I feel that will just start the biodegrading process, which I do not want to speed up by any means. Okay, and that's about it. So I will bring you guys in for a close up on this one because it is worth seeing close up. Look at all that pretty glitter. I tell you what, it looks even better in real life than it does on camera. I'm always like, come on camera, pick up the sparkles, show all the depth, but it never shows as good as I want it to. So basically, I'm going to wait 18 to 24 hours and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna split all four slabs and take a peep at the inside after this quick commercial break. Hey guys, are you guys ready to cut some soap? Let's cut our blueberry soap first. When you have this many embeds on top, you have to cut very slowly because these embeds will have a tendency to just jump off your soap and leave an indentation where they should be sitting. But if you go super, super slow, that shouldn't be a problem. My voice is shaking. <laughs> All the way down. All right, let's pull one up. This is what it currently looks like on the inside. Now, it's going to get much darker. Like I said, this fragrance oil just colors to almost a black, but the blues and the white are still very pigmented. I have a little bit of water on my gloves, so if you're seeing some wet on the soap, that's why. I think it was definitely worth it for Caleb and I to place all of those blueberries in by hand and make sure they were all facing the right direction, even though it took a long time because this is an absolutely stunning result wouldn't you say? Also, it smells absolutely edible. Like, it smells decadent. Upon cutting our neon soap, I found that the batch is lie heavy, and so I'm not gonna, like, disappoint you by, like, showing you the insides of all the bars, because obviously these won't be available to purchase because they're dangerous. I didn't fully incorporate the lye water into the oils, so you get what is a lye heavy batch and unincorporated lye water solution. I'm gonna try to hold this so that the camera can see it, but up near the top, there is a gleam of water, and you can see there's some oozing around this area right here. That's the lye water solution that sunk to the bottom that my stick blender just did not incorporate well enough. So throughout the entire pink part of the soap is unincorporated lye water, which will sting your skin, obviously. So this entire batch is a flop. This is exceptionally rare, but whenever it happens, you have to toss that entire batch. Some people like to take the time to rebatch, but for me and my business, it's not even beginning to be worth the time, especially when rebatching a soap like this would just end up being a really nasty color anyway. So I lost this batch of soap. It's a little bit disappointing, but it wasn't a great design anyway. I don't love the way these swirls turned out. These colors should have been more pigmented, including the yellow. So I'm not too cut up about it, but I thought I would go ahead and show it to you guys anyway so that maybe you could learn a little something. In other happier news, this batch with the pumpkin powder turned out splendidly. Like this one could not have been more perfect. It smells divine and I'm going to turn it so that the flowers are facing me so that when the cutter does its work, we won't have any drag marks. This is something that was recommended I do in a video a long time ago. And now we do it at Royalty Soaps with 
every single bar that has botanicals on it because it really does make all the difference in the world. It's not a very beautiful batch on the inside. It looks a little plain, but you can see the chamomile and calendula powder in there. You can probably see a few little specks of orange for the pumpkin powder. And the top is nice and soothing. And sometimes it's nice to break up all of those, you know, neon soaps with something a little more natural. Also, the fragrance is to die for. It is absolutely one of my favorites. Okay, now for the most beautiful bar. Okay, I have lined it up. So it does appear that most of the glitter survived. Some of it did not, and I feel like the glitter would do a lot better on a high top soap. But as you can see, the blue is still there. Um, the silver is still here. The only one that I think kind of started to fade and literally just biodegrade is the purple opal glitter, but the super fine ones stayed perfect. Let's pull out a bar of this. Ooh. Now, as you can see, there's also a teeny tiny bit of batter that didn't quite get turned black. I'm not worried about this though, because this fragrance oil discolors. So the chances of that surviving the cure is minimal. But even if it does, it can kind of just look like a little bit of light in this galaxy. And oh my gosh, the smell is so good. Ooh, this one has some more of that green in there. That looks so nice. Let's cut another one of those. Also, I have to be the bearer of bad news and give you guys a little update from the Royalty Soaps crew. We have been experiencing raw materials shortages for a very long time time and Hopefully you guys haven't been able to tell that much. I try not to make my company's problems <laughs> your problems as far as that is concerned. But one of the ingredients in our conditioner bars, an absolutely crucial ingredient is in low supply all around the world. My brother Simeon has been trying to get his hands on it for two months now. We have tried to pay for like express freight, which if any of you guys have businesses where you're having to freight something it's it's hundreds of dollars um we've done everything that we know to do to try to get this in ingredient in time but due to things completely out of our control conditioner bars are not going to be available at this july release and if they are it will be in super super limited quantity it is obviously extremely disappointing to me who spent a year and a half like formulating this thing to launch it last month and not even be able to carry it the next month um there has been stuff like this going on guys behind the scenes just so much. It's been a very stressful last two months. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not a super fun update. I really wish that wasn't the case, but hopefully by the next month, everything will be in and we can give you guys even more conditioner bars than before. I have already gotten such positive feedback on the first launch. And I just appreciate you guys bearing with small businesses during this difficult time for everyone. A good majority of us are just doing the best we can and trying to stay afloat in certain ways. <laughs> the good news is we have made more soap than normal due to the fact that we had an absolutely record selling month last month. We tried to up our production for certain products as soon as humanly possible and make some extra batches for you guys. We also tried to make some extra batches of shampoo bars and things so that we could be as ready as possible for this next release. So once again, thanks y'all so much for sticking with us on this thing. I hope that everything is back to normal come fall. But I can tell you what, this month's sticker is going to be bomb. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. If you guys wanna see some exclusive sneak peeks for the sticker and other things I'm going to have available for this launch. Ooh, look at the top of this bar. Hold on a second. Hold that thought. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, if you wanna see exclusive stuff, TikTok and Instagram are where it's at. Not everything makes it into a video and sometimes I just have quick updates that I share over there. Now, I'm really excited about today's question of the day because it's going to let you guys sort of help me pick a design for October's birthstone. So I'm gonna throw you guys a picture up of the Opalite soap. This is the Opalite soap that I made in a tiny batch. I'm going to make a remake of this in October. And what I wanna know is, should the base 
base color be black or white? Do you like the black sort of starry night look of the soap or would you rather it be white like an opal? Let me know by giving me a thumbs up on my two comments in the comment section. One of the comments will say something like, yes, make the opal soap white or yes, make the opal soap black. Give them a thumbs up. That's how we're going to do the voting system from now on since YouTube is removing my stuff. Oh, just another thing. Why? Ugh. And I will take y'all's opinion into consideration when I submit the final design this week. Wow, I did not remove my makeup very well last night. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. This video was extremely therapeutic to make. I felt like I was just having a nice chat with friends. It wasn't super planned. Some of the batches didn't even turn out that great, but I still had fun and I hope you did too. The three soaps I made in this video that actually were good. <laughs> The blueberry muffin, the sort of almondy calendula one, and then whatever it was that I decided to call this bar will be available on July 3rd at the time and place listed below. Because we sold out last month, I do recommend you set an alarm if there's something that you really, really have your eye on. We'll be restocking the Royalty Soaps Frosting Kit as we do every month. Lots of people come and ask me this question. We restock this every single month. The goal is to eventually get to the point where it is in stock all the time and anyone who wants to purchase it can just go to the store. We are remaining positive. We are remaining uplifted. I am glad that we are still able to make soap for you guys. I'm glad I can still make videos no matter what's going on. There are so many things to be grateful for and I'm super grateful for you. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is going out and getting yourself a summer drink to enjoy. I recently made mango sorbet in an ice cream maker that was sent to my house like a year ago. Someone sent me Dole Whip, like a Dole Whip mix and an ice cream maker. And that ice cream maker we have used so many times. It is so nice. It was so pricey. I feel so delighted that someone would even think to send that to me. But yeah, if you want to make yourself a really, really nice like frozen treat that's actually not that unhealthy, blend yourself up some fruit Pour it in an ice cream maker with maybe a little stevia or honey or agave nectar to sweeten it a little. Oh, it's so good for curing you of everything. It's such a nice summer treat on a hot day. Or maybe you have a pool at your disposal and you don't live in like Antarctica. I always have people comment down below where I'm like, go have fun in the pool because the majority of my viewership is in America. So that's normally who I'm talking to. But then there's some people in Norway that are like, if I did that, I would freeze to death. <laughs> anyway, this video has been fun. In some upcoming videos, I will be testing two different bubble bar kits. That's right, I'm at it again. I also might have a video with little Lily Marie Carson who has been asking to be in another video for months. I probably hear about it once a week. She'll say, Mama, what about my video? So we're going to be filming another one that will probably be going up on release day. So if you're interested in seeing my kid make soap, it'll be there for you. And until next time, you guys have an absolutely lovely rest of your day and I'll see you soon. So until then, bye for now. Yeah. What are you looking at? It didn't know it was recording. Oh. Awkward! <laughs> and I never make it. And this is his favorite fragrance, so I thought, what do you know? What you know?